hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be showing you how i made this beautiful braided wig it's a full lace wig i use a spiral coils to make so guys stick to this video do not move and watch to the end so that you can understand every single thing i did on this video Thank you my returning subscribers and if you're new to this channel please click on the subscribe button and hit on the notification bell so that you can get a notification whenever I post any video. Alright guys, let's move to the video. So this is the full lace I will be using to make this hair. As you can see, it's a synthetic full lace. So what I did is part the middle of the full lace. All right. For you to get the middle of the full lace, place it on your head and bring out the middle part so that after braiding the hair, it's, um, you know, it will not be confusing where the part is and where the middle is. All right. So this is me trying to part the the middle to the end of the hair and then i'll start partitioning it the way i want starting from the back so i started partitioning the hair all right to what i want so just watch and see how i partition the hair i will start from the middle from the middle you know from the part i did on the middle so as to get a a a uniform part in each side all right so after i will braid it down and that's it So I'm done parting the one side of the hair. So this is how I do part my hair, as you can see. So this is the back and from the front, this is how I part to the front. So this is the hair I will be using for this tutorial. This is a very silky hair. If you don't know how to handle this hair, you will mess up. A real time so just watch closely how I treat this hair so that if you have been having trouble in handling this hair just follow my instructions and you will get it right so this is how the hair comes um, is it doesn't come in a pack it comes like this just naked like this it doesn't have a name or something so this is how it's made in the factory though most um, products have theirs in the packs but this this one if you want the original one this is how it looks all right so that it won't tangle at the end so the next thing you do is get a bucket of water or a bowl of water then put your conditioner inside the water and mix it now note that this conditioner is um optional because the the last video i made on this i didn't put conditioner all right so this video i decided to put a conditioner for people that did not understand the last video all right so after putting the conditioner and mixing it you start from the tip of the hair make sure if you notice i did not cut the band on the hair all right start from the tip and make sure you soak the hair inside the water make sure the water soaks the hair very very well then you squeeze out the water meanwhile the the rubber band and everything that is tied to the hair is still there okay don't make the mistake of losing the hair first so the next thing is to cut off the band on the hair 
then you split the hair into two just watch closely all right then after splitting the hair into two if you see the hair is is partitioning on its own but if you do not soak this hair in water most times it's it's tangles it flies and all that so after um splitting the hair into two i now cut it the main rubber band or the main thing that is holding the hair okay that's me cutting it off so i uh, after cutting the hair off then i'll search i'll take a very little like the one i'll use to make the hair then the next one i'll keep it okay look at the hair partitioning on its own all right so the next thing after cutting the hair the one that you want to use you keep the other one so when next you want to use that one again you soak it in water this hair works a lot with water okay it works a lot with water that's how i make mine then you start partitioning as in bringing out the hair how you want to use it this is a not less braid so i bring it out little by little and after bringing it down, you use the tip of your hands to smoothen it. So this is me. I've started making the hair already. Okay. I didn't show you how I made the back because it's not necessary. I will show you the procedure, how I make it here. So... As you can see this is how the hair was partitioned all right this is how it was partitioned and i did not braid it to the end for now and when i finish the hair i will start braiding it to the end so the method i use in making especially the back of the hair is the one you you braid in between i don't know if you get it you braid in between the hair okay to cover up the space that you made in the last line okay this is it if you notice i didn't make the line of this hair in exactly where the other line was okay so i made the line on top of the one i braided before if you can understand what i'm trying to say here <laughs> Then after parting the hair, I will use my jam to um, to lay it. I don't know the English I will speak there. I will just apply my, my shan and jam to make it smooth and, you know, and neater. Then I will start braiding it in a knotless braid. This is how I braid <laughs> most of my knotless braids so i braid few of the hair and then start adding hair start adding the the silky hair another thing you should note on this hair is that immediately you soak this hair in water and if you start using it immediately eh, it will be very 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 when i say very 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 slippery okay so if you are still a beginner in this game you cannot hold the hair very well so what i would advise you to do is after bringing out the hair or sectioning it the way you want to braid it you will allow it for some minutes or let me say seconds for it to dry a little bit already you have already brought out the hair so it won't tangle the only time that the hair might tangle is when it's still, you know, folded in, in one. So if you try bringing it out like that, the hair might tangle. But when after soaking it inside water and partitioning it, as in bringing it, I will show you how I bring it out. 
whenever i'm alone i'm walking alone for now my my staff is giving me the hair but already before then it has dried a little bit if you see the texture of the hair here you know you will see that it's not actually really wet okay so like this you can be able to hold it tight but if it's very 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 wet you will not be able to hold it as tight as you want okay that's just a tip but if you're good in this if you can if you know you can hold it with the wetness okay go ahead and braid it like that way okay so i told you i will show you how i i partitioned the hair this is it i took the hair home with me and this is how i do it so before i will start picking it up it has already dried up a little bit all right so let's move to the front of the hair we are done with the back and this is how the front looks like so all you have to do is braid it according to how you parted the hair that's just it okay if you want me to do a more detailed video on how i part my full lace hair or wigs um just comment on the section on the comment section below
okay this is me trying to show you how i braid this hair to the end okay this is just one um hair i'm trying to show in this video because i do braid my hair off camera so i just want to show you a little bit of how i braid it to the end so in case while braiding the hair some tangled and you know it's is unavoidable though so all i do is use my scissors and you know trim off the part that's tangled and everything so this is the part i braid to and then use the water that has the condition to you know smoothing it out and that's off that's all that's all you have to do with this head you don't apply hot water you don't apply any other thing like you don't apply hot water that's what i mean you don't apply heat okay that's all you do for this hair okay then after braiding the hair um i will show you the next step to take to get a smooth consistency <laughs> We are done with the hair as you can see so the next thing i'll be applying on this hair is my hair mousse yeah hair styling mousse i forgot to show you the one i use on this video okay that's it I, it's not actually showing that's then after applying the hair mousse i'll apply um oil sheen for shine to make the hair shiny and all that okay so that's the front of the hair that's how the hair looks like okay guys so this is the end of this video thank you for watching my videos and thank you for subscribing thank you for your comments and thank you for your support this is the end the finished result of how the hair looks like see you in my next video do not forget to share your thoughts about this hair and what you learned on this hair bye see you in my next video Mwah.